Five important women from period seven that you're likely to see on your AP test. First, Ida Tarbell. Be ready for quotes from her History of Standard Oil, which was written in the context of the ruthless tactics Rockefeller used when growing his oil monopoly. Knowing Tarbell is a great way to connect Gilded Age corruption from period six with the progressive muckrakers of period seven. Next, Alice Paul. You'll wanna be able to connect how the radical tactics of Paul's National Women's Party clashed with the National American Women's Suffrage Association. Most importantly, Paul focused on getting the right to vote with a constant constitutional amendment, which is finally achieved in 1920. Third is flappers. Flappers represent how women in the 1920s acted more freely. They smoked, drank, cut their hair, and wore revealing clothing. College Board asks about continuity and changes. So remember that while some women embraced this new lifestyle, they clashed with Victorian gender roles, showing the bigger conflict of the 1920s between modernism and traditional values. Fourth is Eleanor Roosevelt. She changed the role of the First Lady by lobbying for the poor during the Great Depression. Her leadership and Frances Perkins and FDR's cabinet show a change in women's role in politics. Finally, Rosie the Riveter. This poster encouraged women to enter the labor force to support the war, and they did. Women even joined the military for the first time in groups like the Women's Army Corps. The AP test will likely ask you about the home front, so remember that many women worked in factories while men fought overseas. Subscribe for more A-Push tips.